This is Certified SolidWorks Associate Sample Exam 2007, questions number 6. We're going to start with the right plane. Draw a profile here. So I have this profile, and then I'm going to put global variable, this is A equal 100, tools equations, global variable, I'm going to add it to be 100, hit OK. And I'm going to smart dimension, this is 200, this is 50. This is 37.5. This is 25. From here to here is 100. And then this is 10. This is 25. And then this is 40. And then this is 60 radius of this is 50 I'm going to make this to be horizontal and this is not tangent I'm going to delete the tangent relationship so that actually smart dimension between this edge and hold on the shift key so you can dimension to the R, which is 5. And I'm going to draw another line here. It is horizontal. So I have that profile. I'm going to extrude it. The extrusion is equal A, which is 100. I'm going to click the plus sign I'm going to highlight the sketch extrude cut this contour here by 30 and then I'm going to select this face and start sketching on it I'm going to draw a center line let's go to the top view and smart dimension that center line to be A which is 100 I'm going to use that center line to create a new plane that is passing that line. So I'm going to go to my reference geometry plane, select this face and also this line, angular, 30 degree, hit OK. I'm going to start sketching on that new plane. Let's go normal to that plane. And then I'm going to draw a line. Here. Line here. Make sure this line is vertical. Make another line from here to here. Smart dimension this to be 50. Radius of this is 35. And then I have that sketch. I'm going to extrude boss it up to next I'm going to reverse the direction up to next you see that I'm going to hit OK I'm going to use my counter bore whole wizard and 5 customize it 15, 25 and 5 as you can see on the questions through all position it, I'm going to select the face and position, I'm going to add relation between the center of the counter board with the arc, they are concentric, hit OK. I'm going to select the face again, I'm going to start sketching on it, let's make it normal to that face. I'm going to draw a line, a vertical line first, snap, I'm going to draw another line which is horizontal line, 
from quadrant to quadrant based on that line I'm going to go and use the extrusion cut feature from the mid plane and line the depth is 5 hit ok so I'm going to select this plane and hide it draw a new plane again reference geometry plane I'm going to select this face and this edge and then angle 20 degree hit ok on the new plane I'm going to start sketching on it normal to that plane I'm going to draw this profile smart dimension it this is 50 from this edge is 15 radius of this is 25 and this one is 40 everything is fully defined I'm going to draw two more circles one and two the diameter of the outside circle is 25 and the inside is 12 okay so I have that profile I'm going to go to my feature and extrude boss it flip the direction up to next just like that profile up to you can do up to surface hit ok and then I'm going to click the plus sign so we can see the sketch here I'm going to use it again and extrude it now it's this contour right here by 15 and the last thing to do is to select the same sketch I'm going to actually cut that contour through all of the hole I'm going to go to plane here and then hide it so I have this model I'm going to also hide this one right here just need to change the material right click edit material uh, aluminum alloy 6061 alloy apply and let's close it so I have this questions number 6 done I just need to check the mass properties the mass is 2040.57 grams so the correct answer is A Okay, thank you very much.